In this lesson, we're going to install Visual Studio. We'll do so by clicking the executable file that's in our downloads folder. Let's do that now. You'll get a couple of notices while we install this. The first one is called a user account control, and it asks you if you want to allow the app to make changes to your device. It defaults to no, so it's important to take a look and click yes. The next screen you'll see shows the Microsoft privacy statement and our license terms. Feel free to click on those if you'd like to learn more, but to move forward, you can also click continue. Let's do that now. So this will take approximately two minutes or so. And here we have it. What we've done is that we've installed something called the Visual Studio Installer. And installing Visual Studio is a two-step process. First, you download something called the Bootstrapper, which was that executable that we saw on the earlier screen. Then that installs the Visual Studio Installer. And that is what we're looking at right now. So what you see here in the Visual Studio Installer are workloads and a little bit more about workloads. They're layered on top of the core editor, which you'll see over here to the right. And what they are is that we've grouped installations into common tasks that people want to perform. So we've taken other tooling and SDKs that developers need, and we've packaged them into bundles that represent common developer experiences. We think of these bundles as kind of like a curated preset. It's a good starting point, and it can help you get up and running quickly. So you'll take a look and you'll see that we've sorted them into Windows work groups. And then if you're developing for the web and the cloud, we have that work group. So depending on if you want to work with ASP.NET or Node.js, um, we've got a workload for you. Continuing further, we've also got a mobile and gaming set. So if you want to do game development with Unity, we have a workload for that. And then at the bottom, we have other tool sets. Want to develop with Linux? We've got a workload for that too. So going back to the top of the workload screen, you'll see on the right side, there's a summary of what you'll get. We haven't selected a workload yet, but what comes with every workload is the Visual Studio Core Editor. So that's your core shell experience. It also includes rich IntelliSense that um, adds a code completion feature, source control, and work item management. So for today's lesson, what we're going to do is install the .NET desktop development environment. So we'll select that here. And if you'll look in the summary, you'll see what gets installed along with it. And it tells you the .NET Framework 4.6, 4 to 4.6 development SDK, Blend for Visual Studio, and so forth. And again, at the top, you'll still see that you'll get the Visual Studio Core Editor. So let's install that now. It also shows the basic install size, which will change depending on what you select. Let's go ahead and install the .NET Desktop Development Workload now. Now we have a status screen, and it's going to show us where we're at with our installation. So you can watch it in real time. This probably will take approximately four minutes to install, but we'll let it go through its paces. So as you can see, Visual Studio is installed, but before we can complete the installation process, we'll need to restart our computer. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now that we've installed Visual Studio and restarted our computer, let's find it from the Start menu. So we'll click Start and 
go to the letter V, and there we are. We have an instance of Visual Studio 2017 installed and also the Visual Studio installer, which we'll cover in the next lesson. But for now, let's verify our installation and click Visual Studio 2017. We'll give it a moment to start. So the first thing that you'll see when you start Visual Studio is that it'll ask you to sign in to an account. But for today's lesson, we're going to skip that. So we'll just click not now, maybe later. The other thing you can do when you start Visual Studio is that you can choose your color theme. You can also choose a development setting. For this lesson, we'll just leave it at the default, which is general. And we'll accept the default color theme of blue. So let's click Start Visual Studio and verify our installation. It'll tell you that it's preparing, and that'll take, it's pretty quick. And here we are. We have now installed Visual Studio. And that concludes this lesson.